Battle of the Nations is the tip of the iceberg, the ultimate final of our journey. Labor and hard work. Discipline. Beautiful locations, castles, fortresses, courageous heroic men. And meetings with good friends. Battle of the Nations connects countries, because people start speaking the same language here. Fights unite them, and immediately there is a place for alliances. It is the atmosphere. Meeting with favorite people, with good people, and it is a sport, a team combat art. Battle of the Nations unites fine, decent people. I've tried to find it in many things, but I find it only here. It is something I enjoyed reading about in books in my childhood. This is the best type of sport in the world. Here are knowledge of history, armor, weapons. You can make things with your own hands, shields, armor, clothes. You must have a huge outlook to be considered as a smart person in this crowd. This is one of the few kinds of sports where you need to have a lot of incoming data to practice. And this is very active sport. You must know how to wrestle, hand-to-hand -hand combat, how to use cold steel and fight in lines. You must have several types of weapons, so it's a huge sport. It is the whole world, which is better than anything. It's like in Vysotsky's Ballad of the Struggle. If you feel this song, then you're welcome. If you don't feel the song, you won't understand, you won't come. The fight gives pleasure by itself when two people are challenging each other's strength. What you have put into this fight. I prepare for fights very well, lots of trainings, good quality trainings. This is the way to prove your respect by the fight. This is why I like it, to fight and hit people. For me, battle is a necessary component of victory. This is an essence of any serious strong man, to show aggression in some way. Battle is also a manifestation of aggression. Why not? This is normal. This is my other self. HMB is the creation. In this society, positive qualities are maintained, moral, ethical and spiritual. People create a lot, from household items to victories for their glory, or their national flag. Discipline and brotherhood are impossible without a fight, without a battle. All the guys from our national team are very successful and calm people in their ordinary life. As for those who destroy themselves, they follow dark paths, alcohol, drugs. HMB makes me better, physically, morally. Even in regular life, I spend so much energy during my trainings that in regular life, I am a very calm and reasonable person. Healthy body, healthy mind. Any professional sport is a destruction. But it starts with the creation. Until you reach the professional level, you create your own body and spirit. The spirit continues to get stronger. But at some point, body begins to collapse. This is not about health. This is a professional activity. We bring victory and make a kind of cult of us, of the sport, of the athletes. Cult for our friends, families, relatives. It is a compromise of a sort between destruction and creation. I don't see anything wrong with it. People fight as hard as they can. There are no more injuries here than in the MMA or in other sports. So it is on the contrary, romanticism, the Middle Ages. Since I've been a child, my favorite book was The Witcher by Andrzej Sapkowski. From my early childhood, I liked it all. Chivalry, Middle Ages, swords, fights. I have found it here, where it is all combined and stayed.
I saw the movie Lord of the Rings in its time, and then it all became a blur. Once I saw people fencing with wooden sticks in the street, that was 20 years ago, in 2000. I asked what they were doing. It was fencing. That's how I knew that is my theme. Initially, for me it wasn't the HMB, but a reenactment of the late Middle Ages. I joined the actual sport five years ago. Once I met some guys called themselves Bugurtsmen. And all my interests coincided in this sport very successfully. My character is not entirely feminine. Sometimes I am a tough person. And I need to overcome some obstacles sometimes in order to feel the taste of life. I was doing live action role play games, and then my friends told me, let's go fight with steel. I said, are you fools? You'll kill each other. But they talked me into it somehow. Two years later, they had finished this and I was still here. As long as I remember myself, I know that I'm going to do this, of course. I didn't know that it will develop into such a large-scale movement, but I know that I need like-minded people around me and always strive for it. In 2006, I joined the club Burn, and from that very moment, I am here. Until the end, I think. HMB sport exemplifies discipline, support, and a sense of camaraderie. The ideal community of comrades, friends, worthy people who have got together for a common cause, or maybe just a hobby. But it is a cause that unites us. This is very cool. A tribute to our great ancestors. This is what we call not to forget about roots, overcoming yourself, self-improvement, history. It all worked out very well in this beautiful world of medieval violence. Of course, you can talk about honor, loyalty, friendship and blah, blah, blah. But we are modern people and understand that people in general are quite flexible. Therefore, it is difficult for me to say what the exact ideals HMB supports. I can say why I'm here. Because here I have comrades, friends with whom we have passed through fire, water and copper pipes. Brand, fight and travel is one of the main drivers in my life. I have friends all over the world and can go fight and go travel. These are my two favorite things, besides my wife. HMB? Fights? Yes, a show of strength. There is something, maybe, of the Middle Ages spirit, but I am more as an athlete here. Patriotism, undoubtedly, performing for the Russian flag for our motherland. We are trying to make it as famous as possible, so that the world would know about Russia as a country winner. We need to get together and kill the mammoth, and it is important to prepare for the hunt. Prepare stones, spears. Actually, the national team has the same task. This is to overcome yourself, get over your opponent, to do better today than yesterday, because our opponents are getting better and better, stronger and stronger every year. And if we win, it means that we also become better, growing. The fights here are the final stage, the highest point of confrontation of the year, that tests us on how well we have worked through the year. For any HMB athlete, the Battle of the Nations podium is the top point in their career. This is the national team, an honor for any Russian guy to represent his country in an international competition. We have to be the best in everything. It is unusual to hear people cheering for the Russian team. Unfortunately, in most of Europe, Russia is supported only by our compatriots. In Serbia, it is the first time I've encountered such foreign support. Unexpected and pleasant. Very cool.
Me personally, I fight for my friends, for the loyal comrades who have become close to me over the years. If we're talking about the format of the national team, then I'm fighting for the flag, for the country. If we're talking in general, I just fight. I just cannot not do it. First of all, for my family, then for the country, for people with the same mentality as me. Generally, I fight for myself to prove the whole world that I am the best and at the World Championship for the Russian national team, respectively. Me and my team Katyusha, we represent Russia. We are the top five in women's HMB and we do our best to be the best in everything and not to shame. I fight because I love fighting. I really love fighting very much. It is the visual component that attracts the viewer and captures people's hearts. Then people either become fighters themselves or actively support and follow everything that happens. Any activity people look at is a show. For us, it is a professional type of activity. Well, I guess so. It's a show. No, HMB is a sport. A sport that is not a show is not interesting for the audience, and people don't come. Therefore, it is important for us to keep the elements of the show, as in MMA, in UFC promotions, and what WMFC does. The Battle of the Nations makes the World Championship not only a sport event that some people may come to watch, but makes a good show out of it, and that's right. It is a show, and it should become a better show to a certain extent, but it's not there yet. I don't want it to be a show, and I don't want it to be a sport. I like its format right now. I'm not a fortune teller. I don't know where it's going to turn, and I'm fine with it at the moment. There should be a sport component where two fighters actually train and fight, but it should be presented to people as a show, and it must be done by the fighters themselves. But fighters need to be paid normally, so they are interested in making a good show. When you don't get paid, you just go out, fight, win, and that's enough for you. Sometimes, maybe, you get pleasure from showing off in the ring, pointing your finger or something like that. I'm already incredibly happy that I'm doing what I like most. At the very beginning, all of this caused, putting it mildly, a certain skepticism in men. But let's say it didn't last long. It is not common for us women who fight. I think a lot of women who will see this interview will throw rocks and cans at the screen, nevertheless. They didn't resist for long and decided to help us after all. It came up that our girls have proven themselves and achieved their participation, so my opinion does not play any role here. They are awesome and we are rooting for them. They help us to conduct training, to improve, to keep our spirits up. They guide and inspire us with their example every time. We support them, of course. But there must be something about a woman. I don't know. I won't say. 
Ну, на самом well, деле, <laughs> history remembers the war of maidens, and even some historical findings confirm it. Coincidentally, my inner qualities don't quite correlate with the traditional image of women, and this is the right place where I can successfully implement them and to serve the motherland. This is my sixth battle of the nations, the eighth, I guess. It seems it's the sixth one, the eighth battle of the nations for us. This is the tenth battle of the nations now. We have been participating in the battle of the nations since 2016. My first appearance in the battle of the nations was three years ago in Barcelona. When you go the first time, you think it's something more than a serious, hard activity. But in fact, the second or third time you already treat it this way. It is a professional activity. It's like being a manager, a kindergarten teacher, tying your kids' shoelaces, buying them all these toys. Yes, it's hard. I'd better just fight. Work with the personnel is important. You need to know who lives by what. This is very important to understand people and give them guidance, whom to adhere to, how to behave in a certain situation, not just in combat, but also how to prepare for fights, armor allowances, weapons check, and its repairing, so they could enter the Battle of the Nations competition in maximum battle readiness. Combat art entails the concept of subordination of the army system. Without it, no national team will achieve success on the world stage. In my view, everyone becomes a hero for himself. Each person has his own scale of heroism and everyone measures exclusively in his own way. Let's assume that I believe I am a hero. If I am honest and do everything according to my beliefs, then yes. A hero is someone who performs heroic deeds, overcomes himself and, ideally, achieves the goal. Unfortunately, not everyone succeeds in it, but if you've tried, then you are already a hero. Who is a hero for me? A fireman who carries people out of a fire. That is a real hero. And we're just messing around. We spend a huge amount of effort and resources on our own pleasure. I don't think that it makes us heroes, a school teacher or a doctor. Those are heroes. My mum is a hero. I mean it. My mum is a real hero. I would like to do as much as she has done in her life. It would be great. Then I would have been a hero too.
I hope that in five years we'll bring up a sufficient number of young guys, strong ones, who will perform successfully and will only have to support them and participate with them in mass battles. And five versus five, the more difficult fights they'll take on and will perform well. In general, everything is coming this way and we are very happy about it. I've been told for a long time that it's time to become a coach. I don't like this idea. I will look at my health. A living, healthy, performing athlete. As long as my physical condition is low, I will continue to try getting gold medals for the national team. I am also trying myself as a marshal in the judicial field. This is also very interesting. I will focus all my efforts so that our movement develops and strengthens. These five years I will spend developing a young generation of athletes and pass on all the experience I have gained. I hope that there will be a huge audience interest in five years, and when people will ask me what I do, just saying HMB would be enough to make them understand what I'm talking about. I love to beat people. It is my hashtag. Artemi Gashval implemented this hashtag in historical fencing. You can see it on Instagram. Yes, of course, I like to beat people. We all here like to beat people. To beat people? With friends? No, I don't like to beat people. In general, I'm against war and violence, don't know how to say it. This is hardly combining with the words love of battle, because for me, battle is primarily about the interaction with other people, with comrades, with men in the team who do one common thing, serious, hard, for the sake of that which you need to overcome. And about beating people, I can't say I like it. I take it easy, of course. There are bursts of rage, moments of anger. Then yes, in such moments, I do like it. I don't like beating people. It is unpleasant for me and very difficult psychologically. I take it normally. I like it when it's beautiful. I love beautiful fights. It's hard mentally and morally. We don't even beat each other. We rather compete, but at the same time we give it our best, because it will be disrespectful if we give it less. It's worth it to get injured and at the same time win, and to feel euphoric together with your friends. It's great. We help each other, grow together. Sometimes sort of twist happens, we are people after all. But none of us forget what a team means. And for such moments, for a sense of comradeship, that's what motivated me to keep moving. I really like what we do. Sometimes it makes me mad, sometimes I don't want to do it at all. At such times, I can't say that it is just my hobby. For me, it's just a part of my life. I can no longer imagine myself without it at all.